Hello, welcome back to another Xcode tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll build an app called QuestionBot, where our app takes in a question and it returns at least more engaging answers than the current response, which would be a question mark. In this app, we'll basically learn how to have a separate part, like a view controller, like a different brain, different from our user interface. So we'll learn how to link the code and the UI together. Let's get started. So um, there is a starter, project called X question bot. So let me head over there and just let's open our app. So let me open question bot dot X code project. Now I'm going to head over to the main store board. So we can see that the UI for us is mostly done. Let me extend the screen. Okay. So our first step would be to um, figure out how the code, like the brain of an app works in relation to the UI. So a simple overview would be that the UI, like the icons and how the app looks, is in the main storyboard. And if you want to view the code, it will be in the view controller. So basically, the view controller controls how the UI looks. And our question answer logic, or the brain, will be here. Here we can see that we have a to-do comment that basically indicates to us, the developer, that we still have to develop this part. So we can see that when a um, question is asked, we have a function called response to. And for now, it just returns question mark. So it just means that the chatbot is just giving a question mark to every comment that we send. Let's run our app and see how it's performing right now. Okay. So let's ask our question bot a question. What is your name. And we can see that the response is a question mark. So let's make this app um, a little bit more engaging with our current knowledge in Swift. So in Swift programming language, a function is structured like this. This is the syntax and inside the curly brackets is where we write our um, function instructions. So here we're turning a string. The string is a question mark. So let's replace it with, for example, um, hi, I am chatbot. I do not understand your question. So this will be a generic answer to all the questions we ask. And it seems reasonable. So let's now run our app again. And let's see what it does this time. Hi, who are you? And now see, we get our um, text that we have put in earlier. Now let's customize our app, just to make sure we're comfortable with updating the UI again. So let's open the sidebar and let's change the background color to something like green. And now we will also change our icon so we can change it to another emoji. And if you're on a Mac, which you need Mac OS to run Xcode, you can press the globe for an emoji. And I'll say something like a tree. So we'll choose a tree. And now let's save. Okay, and let's also change our name. So let's say I am Treebot. And let's update our answers too. Hi, I am Treebot. And sorry, I don't understand your question. Let's run our app and see if our changes have been made. Great. We can see that UI has been updated, and if we type it response, we get our hi, I'm a tree bot, our generic string answer back. That's it for this Xcode tutorial, and see you in the next one.